Um, my name's Nicole Doyle, and I, uh, I'm in grade nine, and I go to St. Michael's on Bell Island. This story that I'm going to tell is 100% true. Um, it happened in the woods of Bell Island um, when I was walking home with two friends, and um, they heard a snap. And um, I was like, oh, guys, it's probably just a bunny or, you know, something like that. And then we heard the snap again. And then Jordan, my uh, boyfriend at the time, um, <clears throat> he, uh, he said, yeah, I think we should really get going, Nicole. And I was like, no, it's not a big deal. Guys, we're going to be. And then I froze, and I saw what they saw. It was three feet tall, and it looked like it had a hat, a really pointy hat, and it was whitish, light bluish. And the rest of it was like a, a black cloak. And around the chest area was two large red eyes. And um, Stephanie took off, and Jordan was trying to pull me to go with him. And I really wanted to see what it was because I didn't believe what I saw. So I rubbed my eyes, and I started walking towards it. And as I was walking towards it, it was moving closer to me, but it wasn't walking because it had no feet. So it was floating. And that's what uh, made me run. So um, the next day, I got them all together again. And I thought that we should go see if it was like a sign or something that was just an illusion of what we were seeing. And there was nothing on the path. <clears throat> Then I came up with the idea that we should probably go a few nights later and see if whatever it was would come out again. So um, they said no, so I went by myself. And I packed my camera, and I had it ready. And um, I was on my way, and I was waiting there for about 30 minutes. And then I was like, well, it was probably just Something I saw, I was, I'm crazy, you know. And then I was like, but Stephanie and Jordan saw it too, so I'm pretty sure that what I saw was real. And as soon as I turned around, there it was again, but closer this time. <clears throat> I was really scared, but I knew I really wanted to get the picture of it so I could show all my friends and family and stuff because I was really scared. And I took the picture, and all of what came out was what looks to be my little sister's finger painting. So I'm never going back to the woods again. And if I learned two things from this experience, is to one, listen to my parents, and two, never go in the woods. <laughs>